hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel so in this video we are going to look into this uh, new groove vision a module version 2 actually there is a previous version which is called uh, groove vision a module so this is the latest version of the series so today i have this board in my hand so you can see this is my that this is the board so we are going to see how we can actually use this board and uh, we'll see how to getting started with this uh, new board okay so let's see some information about this board so one of the main feature of this board is uh, now you can connect your uh, raspberry pi camera directly to this uh, controller so it's uh, awesome right so you can directly connect your raspberry pi camera to this simple controller and you can do your image classification and so on so one more item is uh, this board actually uh, you can uh, yeah so in this image you can see right this board has ability this board has that uh, zero connector so which means you can directly connect your uh, these zero boards directly to this uh, uh, the vision module so you can easily connect the module and you can directly transfer your data to cloud everywhere and then more thing is you have the group connectors and uh, some other items and also it contains some uh, onboard uh, pdm microphone okay so they are showing like uh, how to connect this uh, cable okay Okay, so in order to the program wise, we have three different way. One is you can directly connect this board with your uh, Zio and you can transfer the data. Uh, so in order to do that, you need to use uh, Arduino IDE. So the next one is uh, you can do your uh, AA stuffs. So you can do the image classification and you can do those uh, AA stuffs with this SenseCraft AA. Okay, and the next one is you can connect this board to your uh, home assistant. So this is one of the awesome thing. Okay, maybe I need to check this later. So that we are going to see about today this uh, how to use this board with uh, SenseCraft AA. Okay. So before going to use this board, first you need to install these drivers. Okay. So just uh, download these drivers and install it on your Windows computer. If you are using Mac now, you need to use this uh, Mac OS based drivers. Okay. I already have installed my board. So let me connect my board directly to my uh, PC. So so this board has an onboard uh, Type-C interface. Let's uh, connect this one. Uh, now you can see the green LED, right? Which means the board is connected to my PC. Now let's uh, go to this one. Ah, okay. So this is like a, a no-code platform which you can uh, implement your uh, classification model to this particular vision module. So I think there is some predefined uh, models they have. Oh, okay, you can use this SenseCraft AA for this uh, re-computer and uh, the Zio ESP32 S3 board as well as this vision module. So let's directly go to this one. Okay, yeah, this is the uh, interface for the SenseCraft AA model dashboard. So let's uh, connect our board. So here you need to choose which board you want to connect. Let me choose this Groove Vision, then let's connect. So actually, this is actually using uh, the web serial interface. So you need to connect this serial board to uh, this sense craft. Okay, now you can see now it is actually connected. So actually, I have already tried some models in this one. So let me show you some models for you. Okay, now let me. Ah, okay. So I have already uh, added this uh, human post model to this Zio board through this vision module. Okay, now let me show my face. Now you can see it's trying to classify my. So you can see it's showing person and uh, it's trying to classify my my face, my, my human. You can see. So you can see the on uh, on the fly. You can actually see the preview of the uh, model detection, everything. So let's uh, try to play around. Okay, let's put some hand. Okay, now what we can do now, we can check the other options. So let's, we have, on the left side, we have that the configuration. So I think, uh, uh, yeah, the thing is, uh, this board actually has this uh, Zio connectors, right? So what you can do now, you can connect your uh, Zio boards directly to this uh, interface. Then you can, uh, so if you're using Wi-Fi based controller now, you can actually uh, connect your vision module directly to the Wi-Fi via this, uh, Zio board. So for in order to do that, they have they have given these uh, configuration and all. So now I'm not going to do this thing. Let's walk around other stuffs. 
let's go to the output side uh, yeah you can trigger some actions based on your model for example let's click plus symbol it is asking which object we need to find you need to find person and if the condition is greater than 50 means it will turn on the led okay so led means it's going to turn on this uh, onboard yellow led let me show my face now uh, you can see now it is actually directing my face so that's why it is showing my let me i can go to this process ah, okay now you can see it's detecting the person as well as the led is glowing now there is no person no led if i'm showing my my net showing the led okay so this is how you can use this one and let's go to the tool so you can flash your custom firmware with this one so this is how you can uh, use this board okay maybe i can try to put some model and let's see how it is actually working let's use this person classification let's try to update this model first it's downloading then it's trying to flash okay so it's taking some time to flash uh, let's wait until it finish okay 45 percent 53 56 let's wait 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 come on okay flash finished now it is time to reset i think so come on yeah, it's resetting the board ah, okay now you can see the model has changed to a person classification now it is showing not a person let me show my face ah. you can see it's showing minus a person so now it is detecting my face and it's showing the person so now so this is how you can use this board and you can add your uh, a models so if you're using if you have any other a models now you can upload this model directly via this one so you need to use edge impulse and you need to download the model and you can upload to this board okay okay so in next video we'll show you how to actually uh, get the data from this model and how to send this data via the uh, to cloud via this uh, co esp32 s3 board okay if you have any questions uh, please let me know and uh, please subscribe my YouTube channel. We'll see you later. Bye.